Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And at the moment, the time is 12.41 p.m. I say this because we are about to try to compete an Elytra course. And it's important when you try to compete an Elytra course to uh, know what time it was. So apparently I have to find my way through a bunch of rings somewhere. I thought there'd be rings for me to fly through. Okay. I might not be very good at this Elytra course. Oh, there's a ring. Was I supposed to have, like, found that somehow from over here? Is there, like, a previous ring that I failed to go through? Well. Wow, I'm really bad at Elytra courses, it seems. Dang it. Well, that Death Star's coming along nicely, at least. There we go. Well, while we're over here and unable to figure out where to go next on the Elytra course, I might as well swing by my shop and see what's going on over there. Let's see, I've heard from Cub Fan that he delivered my signs, although he may not have delivered them to the shop here. Any sales? No. That's bad, because I was going to have to pay him out of the sales that we haven't made. But luckily, I think we should be okay. In the meantime, let's go ahead and return to my library area and do some work there. You guys made some great notes about what I could do to improve it. I feel like, wasn't there like a jumper thing that would push people into the Elytra shop somewhere near here? I was hoping I could possibly find that and then use it. Hmm, to spring myself up. Oh, here it is. Elytra. Dang it. We did it. Okay, great. So, we're going to fly back here to our library. And some of you guys made some great suggestions. Like, for example, that I should pull out all the windows and replace them with panes. Now, I can't do that on the outside, like the uh, front foyer area, but I do feel like doing that here would actually have some pretty strong gains. Now, that'll add a little bit of depth to the work, and, uh, I don't know, make it a little bit f more, I don't know, Minecraft modern, if you will. Because, you know, they've only had pains in Minecraft for the last four years, and uh, all of these blocks are making me look a little bit too old school. I'm showing my age. I'm kind of tempted to leave the panes in for the basement windows because you would want those to be flush with the building so that you're not getting water into them. But I'm not sure. So this, I don't count this as a basement window. I mean like those super low ones along the edge there. And I'm realizing too that the super low windows, yeah, so like for example this one, I do still need to put walls underneath those. Like, that pretty obviously looks wrong right there. That's just not good. Obviously, we're going to have to put a floor in and books in the children's section here, too. But that that's not yet. Not yet. Nope. So much more to do. Windows, windows, windows. Every time I hear the word window multiple times in a row, I'm reminded of a time that uh, two of my friends were goofing around and... Uh, one of them. Oh, you know what? Actually, wait, that's not a good story. That discourages traffic safety. It discourages um, talking out your differences. This is, you know what? No, um, different story. Not about somebody getting punched because he couldn't lock his car door. Um, hmm. Well, that building's coming in nicely. Um, redirection, the Joe Hills tactics. So I did see also that derp would be available to get a librarian in here. Got to probably set up a rail track. As you can see, I've gone through and I've left these cubes in place to be flush with the door. But these side windows here are all now recessed panes, which definitely works a lot better. If we kind of zoom out this way. Well, that was almost where I wanted to go. Yeah, you can kind of see that works pretty well. And, uh, oh good, a zombie. Prepare to die. Oh, good. I hope you are ready. 
So, yeah, leaving these down here flush works. I'm not sure I love how that meets the roof line there, but I think it's I think it's pretty okay. Now, one thing we wanted to do was to come up here real quick and take a look at these. See this fourth block here, one, two, three, four? Well, the way that those work inside of the second story, they basically have to... We need all four of those blocks. Maybe not on this one, actually, now that I'm looking at the way the roof line is. But we do need it there and there. And uh, so that way the roof doesn't look too crazy weird. Although, really, even on this one, it's kind of like maybe the roof should... Maybe this should be a second level of roof. I don't know exactly what I want to do there. But let's just assume we want to keep the roof color right now. And that we can walk through a door. Basic functions. So, what I'm thinking of doing is pulling these fourth pieces and replacing them with a uh, half slab. Which might give it a little bit... Well, let's see if we hop up on here. Maybe it's easier. So that'll still cover that hole facing the outside. It does change the texture underneath a little. Not sure I love that. Although, am I capable of replacing these second blocks in the same way? Yeah, I am. Oops. There we go. Cool. So that will kind of give these a little bit more of a, a pretty stylish, fresh look without getting too crazy. I don't know. We have to, we have to, you know, we can't just have holes in our roof, but... Yeah, I think that looks a lot better already. Little details like this over time, just kind of sprucing them up, makes a big difference. Why is that one like that? I don't think I even needed that block. Hmm. Definitely don't need that one. And I guess that, yeah, because that, that's how those meet those. Okay, cool. So that, that makes this space... It, it makes the ceiling feel a little higher. These arches feel a little broader, just because it's not pressing down into the room. The, the, it's, it's a lighter feel, I think, which is really valuable. So, next thing I need to do is kind of figure out how I want to have the bookshelves up here and down here. Now, I'm down to ten bookshelves, so I probably don't want to go nuts with these, but I was thinking I would have maybe a few low stacks of books mixed in with, like, boxes that would allow us to store books inside of them. You know, like, something like this. Yeah, that kind of works. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not there. Dang it. Should have used Silk Touch. But something where we can put chests in between these and then have, like, enchanting books now, since the enchant table's here, we want to have a lot of our storage for books on this floor, I would assume. And this swings pretty wide here, so we don't actually need to go all the way out. Like, I don't want to block any walkways. Is this... Okay, so this is actually kind of neat, because this fence he... or this wall here is entirely indented. I can actually just put books down like here and here, like in this corner. Oh, wait, I could do that with that corner too if it wasn't for that door. Can I do that with this corner? Yeah, okay, so let's try that. So this way we're getting some actual books in the room, which I felt like was lacking. Feels a little bit more like a library now. We could even do the same on this one, assuming we're not out of books. We are out of books. Dang it. So I went ahead and grabbed some more shelves to put in these corners. We saw this one earlier, and I've gone and done the same right here. I realized one advantage of this sort of technique is if I'm building them into the walls where you can't see them from the outside, I can actually build shelves. Wait, is that a zombie? Into the walls here where you can't see them too. Dang it, zombies. Better keep any creepers out of you know, the way too. Probably should put some sort of trap there, so if you step on it, you fall in lava. Oh wait, that would kill every player. Well, so where was I? I feel like having the 
kind of quick and dirty. You just need to run in here and enchant something. Enchant station right here is perfect for people just swinging into the white district, doing their municipal business, and grabbing a magical enchant on their way out the door. Realistically, though, there's no room to put, like, chests for every enchantment up here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put a more serious enchantment setup down in here and have a much better kind of situation where we could have some sort of array of chests that would store all the different types of enchantments, or at least the most common ones, and then we'd have some failovers. So, you know, that would kind of... And we could generally sort them by, like, armor enchantments, or weapon enchantments, or tool enchantments, that sort of thing. So, let's see. Also, one of our commenters, Brian Drake, mentioned that this is one of his daughter's favorite libraries, if not his daughter's favorite library, and that she was disappointed that the front didn't have the appropriate amount of shrubbery in front of it. So, let's go ahead and put some shrubs in here. Now, he also mentioned that he felt like I could bring this up. I really, I wish I could. If I had the ability to mix half slabs with glass, I would. But this is pretty close to the actual original design here. So there's kind of only so much I can do with it without kind of losing that. And... That, that's just kind of a judgment call. Now, what that does mean is that I still need to, like, work out... Oh, hey, I keep, always forget this is a silk touch sho shovel. And I get all these beautiful grasses and whatnot. I do need to work out a uh, sidewalk kind of thing that's going to lead to here. So, I'm guessing what I want to do is... Normally, a sidewalk would be sandstone. Or concrete, actually, but I don't know if I want to use sandstone for the sidewalk when I'm using sandstone for the building. So I might go ahead and put in some of this brick here. Let's go ahead and grab more of that. And that kind of works better with this kind of entryway here as well. Well, it might take some time for the grass to grow. But I'd say, on the whole, this has come along pretty well. You know, everybody's on their way to the library now, like that fella. Don't want to discourage him too much from reading, but I do want to discourage him from devouring my brains, consuming my entrails, that sort of thing. So, let's see, if somebody wanted to come along here. This, this path just kind of dead ends now. I'm not sure if we even need it, this spoke here, or what. I mean, alternately, I could just build the entrance down from here, but... I feel like this kind of just is more natural. Eh. And this is nice too because we get a little bit of little grass over here. Definitely want to get some more torches out though because this is going to be a spawning terrible place if we're not careful. Great. So that should help a, a little bit. Okay. Yep. So on the whole, having those additional bushes there helps. Now another thing that's actually missing here is the... Whoop. Not that skeleton. You are not missing. You are precisely where you should be, which is on fire and collapsed. Um, should be one more window down underneath below there. Let's go ahead and stow this glass pane in exchange for... Dang it, I got too many shears now. Why did I even go get these shears? I feel like it was because I wanted to go pick up... Dang it, it's going to be easier to build that from the outside. I wanted to go get something that I needed shears for. Oh yeah, the bushes, which I already did. So that worked out well. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this window here. And then we'll come back from the uh, back side as well. And dang it, of course I'm stuck on the door. There's really no reason to leave those doors closed. I'm just going to open them up. I mean, they, at this point, like they're, they're more for you know decoration than anything. So where was I? And then, yeah, we'll come under here and set this up like so. Okay, so with the addition of that window there, that kind of adds a lot to this space. But we've also gone in and cleaned up this floor a little bit to make room for what I hope is going to be the, the primary enchanting area. As I discussed earlier, we would put some sort of sections of books. And as I've been walking around here, I'm thinking what I want to do is actually have that main enchantment table back in this corner here. So, like, the enchantment table itself would go, like, um, let's say here. 
and we would have several books along the walls here as well as maybe an outcrop in here. So that way people can also easily get to it from the side entrance if they're in a hurry and they know they don't need to do anything upstairs. Then we would have all of the cataloged books down throughout here as well. Upstairs, now before I do that, I guess let's talk about some details though. I would have to put in a better floor here and get way more books than I have now. I'm basically maxing out all of the, uh, what do you call it on the server, the uh, leaves, no not leaves. Uh, sugar cane. I'm maxing out the sugar cane on the server at this point. So basically in order to make all the books I need, I need to give everything a chance to grow back a little bit. So I probably won't be able to do that until a future episode as well as to get this floor where I want it, which will probably be some sort of carpeted thing or something. Maybe not the uh, upper upper floor wood. And we can come back to this reading room area up here with the works written by the hermits, get copies of the Hermit and Herald and various poems or whatever that I've written. Let's see. One other thing I wanted to do before I closed out this episode, though, is I wanted to get the fireplace. Um, I realized that I think that the original fireplace, actually, I should show you where the fireplace was. In the original building, the fireplace was right here, which means, oh, there's signs floating around, which means if the fireplace was right here, then the actual, like, fireplace uh, chute, or what do you call that, the chimney, would go right up here. Now, that's not going to line up exactly the way I wanted it to, because we're going to bump into this wall if we're not careful. So, I think I'm going to kind of play with it a little bit, and just kind of accept that it's not going to exactly work the way I think that it, the real one does, and we're going to end up putting that chimney somewhere like above these blocks here. So, we're kind of we're kind of playing fast and loose with a lot of the details on this. So, I think that's okay. As long as, you know, I'm not like, oh, this is a perfect replica. Because it's not. It's just pretty good. So, let's go ahead and... Oops. Hmm. So, I'm probably going to want to have the chimney on one of the ones that is actually, like, level with the ground... Or, level with the roof there. And that's not going to be too far back, is it? No. Oh, although I will have to break these two. Oh, that's interesting, because that actually puts it directly above the mirror. Or not the mirror, the uh, window. What are you doing down there? Okay. So, where was I? So then we'll go ahead and add to those. And I think that that would probably max out somewhere at about... Let's go ahead and put a slab on the top there. Whoa. So that'll kind of give the building a little less symmetry and keep it visually distinct. Yeah, there we go. That feels like it's not a lie. That feels like it might realistically be part of the building. Although, as soon as you look at that window there, you can immediately see that there's... Oh, there's an, even an extra block. I'm glad I didn't teleport there without killing the creeper. That would have been bad. Okay, so let's see. Can I get up there? I think I can. I think I can. I think... Oh, I shouldn't have thought that. Sword's out. Hey, I made it. Wow. If I had ended up down there, is there another creeper? Good. Good, good. Excellent. Sometimes things work out okay. But yeah, let's go ahead and wipe out that extra block there. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be incredibly obvious from the side up here. Like, that chimney doesn't actually connect anymore, because there's clearly a window there. I don't, I don't think that most people would, would have a problem with that. Like, if you're over here, does that look really bad? Mm, it might be a little distracting. I could always move it up a little. That might work well, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and just move it up two blocks here. So then we don't have the uh, window issue. So we'll just throw our nether brick back here. And I think this was about the hat I had. I think maybe one more. Yeah. Let's go down to there. So that definitely feels... I don't love it as much from this angle, because I know it's too far forward for the real building, but for people who don't know it, it doesn't interfere with the windows. 
And it also kind of gives us a justification for not having a window here, because you could argue that maybe there, the fireplace was there. So let's go pick up those bricks. Yay. And I can't get that one. Dang it. Can't teleport through walls with that. Good to know. Hmm. So let's see, in terms of the windows, we got that window there. Okay, I think I think the window with the shrub in front of it actually works really well. It's actually in the real building. Um, and this one's actually a little bit higher. I'm just going to trim that down a little bit and put that here instead, actually. And let's move that torch out of the way from there. And we'll put that here. Excellent, excellent. I kind of want to do some, um, like, in-ground lighting even for, like, underneath maybe this glass and this glass have uh, some cool lights. But, yeah, that'll work. And let's see. This is, this is coming along pretty well. Still going to have to figure out the upstairs, but we've made some pretty good progress this episode, and I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go on back outside where we can actually see the bulk of that progress. There we go. Not too shabby. Anyway, thanks guys for joining me. Feel free to leave more comments with your suggestions about how I can further improve this building. I know a lot of you guys keep saying put a light source under the, um, what do you call it, under the uh, enchantment station. The problem is that'll, like, really be obvious in the roof downstairs. Like, watch. If I come down here, and there's, like, a big blue glowing light here, that's going to look maybe a little off, unless I put a lot of big blue glowing lights in and make that intentional. Maybe I should do that. That, that might be okay. Yeah, okay, well, I'll think about it. But anyway, I appreciate all your comments and all the thought you guys put into this. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and uh, thanks again to Blake for the kind words. I was I was surprised that somebody who's actually been to this library actually watched this video, because it's a very small library in a very small town, and it makes me really happy. So thanks again to you and your daughter. Let's go ahead out here and get one more angle on it. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.